Welcome to Brilliant Minds.com, where every student has an opportunity to excel in math. My name is Ngozi Orevogini. Today we'll be looking at directed numbers. Our lesson is actually introduction to directed numbers. What are directed numbers? Directed numbers are simply positive and negative numbers. For example, a number line can be used to indicate directed numbers. As we can see, zero is midway between positive numbers and negative numbers. Numbers to the right of zero are positive, and numbers to the left of zero are negative. As you go from left to right, then the numbers increase. So we're saying that minus six is smaller than minus three and minus 3 is smaller than minus 1. That means that 0 is greater than minus 1. So numbers increase as you go from left to right, and they decrease as you go from right to left. A number line can be used to determine the number of steps from one number to another. For example, how many steps from minus 6 to minus 3. Let's look at the number line. This is minus 6 to minus 3. So how many steps are there? Let's count together. 1, 2, and 3. So there are 3 steps from minus 6 to minus 3. Again, how many steps from plus 2 to plus 8. This is plus 2, and that is plus 8. Both of them are on the positive side. So from 2 to 8, let's count together again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 6 steps. There are six steps from positive 2 to positive 8. Then from minus 9 to 0, from minus 9 all the way to 0. Obviously, we can see that there are nine steps because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So from minus 9 to 0, there are nine steps. From minus 5 to plus 5, how many steps are there? Minus 5 is on the negative side, and plus 5 is on the positive side. So we are going from negative to positive. So from minus 5 to 0, there are 5 steps. And from 0 to 5, we have another 5 steps. So how many steps are those all together? There are 10 steps from minus 5 to plus 5. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Again, from minus 7 to plus 9, how many steps do we have? Minus 7 to plus 9. From minus 7 to 0, we have 7 steps. And from 0 to 9, we have 9 steps. So 9 plus 7 is 16. So this time, we don't need to count anymore. We can simply add, because we are going from the negative side of 0 to the positive side. So 7 steps from minus 7 to 0, and 9 steps from 0 to 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. And finally, from minus 8 to positive 8, follows the same principle. From minus 8 to 0, we have 8 steps. And from 0 to 8, we have 8 steps. So altogether, from minus 8 or negative 8 
to positive 8, we have 16 steps. This is very easy. And this can also be used to look at temperatures. For example, if the temperature of a room is minus 4, and then the temperature increases by 5, what is the new temperature? From minus 4, it increases by 5 steps. So the new temperature will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The new temperature will be positive 1. So you can use a number line like a thermometer to determine temperature increase or decrease. For example, if the temperature in a room is minus 1 degree Celsius and the temperature drops by 5 degrees, what is the new temperature of the room? From minus 1 degree Celsius, it drops by 5. So let's see what the new temperature will be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The new temperature in the room will be minus 6 degrees Celsius. And if the temperature in the room was minus 1 degree Celsius and it increases by 8 degrees, it increases by 8 degrees. So from minus 1 to 0 is 1 step. From 0 to 8 is 8 steps. So 8 plus 1 will give us 9. If the temperature on the playground in the morning was minus 1 degree Celsius and by midday, the new temperature is now 8 degrees Celsius. By how many degrees has the temperature increased? Let's see. From minus 1 to 0 is 1 step or 1 degree. And from 0 to 8 is 8 steps or 8 degrees. So the temperature would have increased by 9, meaning 1 plus 8. So let's look at adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers using a number line. We need to know that when adding using a number line, you move from left to right because the numbers will be increasing. Numbers increase as you go from left to right. But when subtracting using a number line, you go from right to left because when you're subtracting, you're taking away. So the number will get smaller. For example, use the number line to work out the following. 6 plus 2. This is 6 on the number line. And I want to add 2 to 6. So from 6, we go 2 steps forward because we are adding. Remember we said that we move from left to right when adding. So 6 plus 2, 1, 2. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 6 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 6. Let us check that out. 2 plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is 8. So 6 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 6. And the answer is equal to 8. Let's look at the next one. 9 take away 3. Or 9 minus 3. This is 9 on the number line. We are subtracting, so we need to move from right to left. How many steps are we moving? We are moving 3 steps backwards. So we have 1, 2, 3. 9 take away 3 will end at 6. So 9 take away 3 is the same as minus 3 add 9. Let's see how that relates, whether we'll get the same answer. Minus 3 plus 9. This is minus 3 on the number line, and we want to add 9. The first answer we got was 6. Let's see if we'll get the same answer. Minus 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The answer is 6. So we are saying that 9 minus 3 is the same as minus 3 plus 9 and the answer is 6. 
5 take away 9. Let's see. 5 take away 9 will be the same as minus 9 plus 5. And let's see what the answer will be. 5 on the number line, it's here. Take away 9. Are we to go to the left or to the right? We're subtracting, so we're going to the left. 5. Take away 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The answer is minus 4. Let's hold it there. And then let's do minus 9 plus 5. This is minus 9. Let's add 5 to it and see whether we'll still get minus 4, like we got the first time. So minus 9 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 9 plus 5 is equal to minus 4. The next one, minus 7 plus 8. Minus 7 on the number line is here. We're adding 8 to it. So in adding, we'll be going from minus 7, we'll be going forward, or we'll be going to the right. How many steps? We'll be going 8 steps. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So minus 7 plus 8 is equal to 1. But let's see if that will give us the same as 8 take away 7. I think every one of us can do this. We know that 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. 8 take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 take away 10. 5 minus 10. That's 5. We're taking away 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the answer is minus 5. Would that be the same as minus 10 plus 5? Let's check with the number line. Minus 10 is just the next step after minus 9, so we can use that. So we go from minus 10 to minus 9, is one step, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our answer again is minus 5. So 5 minus 10, or minus 10 plus 5 is equal to minus 5. And finally, minus 2 plus 7. Minus 2 plus 7 is the same as 7 minus 2. And we all know that 7 minus 2 is 5. But let's see minus 2 plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Minus 2 plus 7 is equal to so we have learned how to add and subtract numbers using the number line. We are looking at adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. But before we continue, let's establish positive and negative directions and also forward and backward movements. So for example, on our number line, moving away from zero going towards the right, it's going in the positive direction. And moving away from zero, but going towards the left, will be moving in the negative direction. So for this lesson, we're saying that the positive sign would mean positive direction or forward movement. So you can actually move forward in any direction. If you face the positive direction and you're going forward, it is also possible to face the negative direction and go forward. What does that mean? So for example, example one, five plus minus two. The positive sign here would mean a positive direction and the negative sign here would mean 
a backward movement. So when you have two signs, one is talking about direction and the other is talking about movement. So we're saying you stand at five, positive five, we stand at five, we face the positive direction, so that means we are facing this direction, but we are going backwards two steps. So start at five, face that direction, but go backwards two steps. One, two. So the answer will be three. That's the same thing like saying five minus two. And five minus two is three. So we're saying that plus and minus actually means take away. What does that mean? We face the positive direction. We stand at five and face the positive direction. But we go back two steps. So that's actually taken away. So five minus two is equal to three. If we look at another example, stand at minus four, face the negative direction, and go backwards three steps. So we stand at minus four. We face the negative direction, and then we go backwards. So going backwards, facing the negative direction, the number is actually increasing. So minus and minus is a plus. So this actually means minus 4 plus 3. So I take that on the number line. I start at minus 4. I face the negative direction, but I'm going backwards three steps. So let's go. One, two, three. So the answer is minus one, which is the same thing as minus four plus three. And minus four plus three is equal to minus one. Remember that we have established positive and negative directions and forward and backward movements. We said that moving away from zero, going to the right, is moving in the positive direction. And moving away from zero, but going towards the left, is moving in the negative direction. And for example, when you have two signs separated by, separated by a bracket, it actually means multiplication. Or better put, the first sign is talking about direction, and the second sign is talking about movement. So minus 7 here means facing the negative direction, and minus 3 here means moving backwards three steps. Let's look at this example. Minus 7 minus minus 3. So we stand at minus 7. We face the negative direction, because that's minus. But we go backwards three steps. So we're facing the negative direction, but we're going backwards three steps. So that means 1, 2, 3. So our answer is minus 4. So what that means is that facing the negative direction and going backwards actually means going forward. So minus 7 minus minus 3 means minus 7 plus 3. And if you add 3 to negative 7, you get minus 4. The next example, 5 minus minus 4. So we're saying we stand at 5, we face the negative direction, and then we go backwards, 4 steps. So we stand at 5, we face the negative direction, then we go backwards, four steps. One, two, three, four. So that lands us at nine. Facing the negative direction, but going backwards is actually going forward. So five minus minus four is five plus four, which is equal to nine. Another example, two plus 
minus 6. So we stand at 2. We face the positive direction this time. So we're facing the positive direction. But we're going backwards. So we're moving to the left. So we're actually taking away. We're subtracting. So the number is getting smaller. So that means 2 take away 6. And 2 take away 6 is minus 4. I take that again. 2, we stand at 2. We face the positive direction quite all right. But we go backwards, 6 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we end at minus 4. Again, let's look at 5 minus minus 1. 5 minus minus 1. We have been able to establish that facing the negative direction and going backwards is addition. So that is 5 plus 1. Standard 5, face the negative direction, but go backwards one step. That is adding 1 to 5 to give us 6. Here we want to stand at minus 1. Yes? Let us face the positive direction and then go forward. So we stand at minus 1. We face the positive direction. And then we go forward two steps. So that's the same thing as minus 1 plus 2. Stand at minus 1, face the positive direction, and go forward two steps. 1, 2. So the answer is 1. And we all know that minus 1 plus 2 is 1. And finally, we stand at minus 3. We have minus 3. We face the negative direction, but we go backwards three steps. Stand at minus 3, face the negative direction, and go backwards three steps. One, two, three, and that gives us zero which is the same thing as minus 3 plus 3. We have established that facing the negative direction and going backwards is actually going forward. So minus times minus is plus. I am Ngozi Arevalime. For more examples, exercises, and feedback, subscribe to the Brilliant Math Modules at BrilliantMaths.com Always remember, the maths is fun and you can do it.